Hi, and thanks for choosing to watch this C-Logic video all about adding and working with marketing campaigns in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. The campaign functionality allows you to track marketing programs that use many communication vehicles to accomplish specific results. For example, using advertisements and direct mail to increase market share, introduce new products or retain customers. Many activities make up a marketing campaign, but you can track everything here in CRM. Let's walk through setting one up. My campaign is going to be sending an email to a group of leads and then following that up with a qualification telephone call. First, I go to the campaigns area and now I can click new. Notice the button next to it, new template. This allows me to create a campaign that I can then use a number of times as a template or later on I can convert my new campaign into a template also ready for future use. Give your campaign a name and select a status reason. Note that a campaign status is always active or deactivated, but you can change the status reason as required and set up views to see different campaigns by status reason. Give your campaign a code, but if you leave this blank, the system will assign one, and now you can choose the type. You can now fill in other fields as required, such as expected response, offer, the text of which will appear in our email if required, a schedule, and also add in some financials. Notice that the greyed out fields will auto populate as you complete campaign activities. Click save and our ribbon and left navbar are activated and note that we now have a new code. First job is to get some planning activities scheduled so that we set up our campaign ready for launch. These might be things such as creating the marketing list, devising copy, planning resources etc and they are standard activities that will appear in users calendars that are linked to the campaign. We'll simply add one task to create the marketing list. You may want to watch the C-Logic video on creating marketing list that's also on our YouTube channel. Now that I've clicked save, we can see my planning activity listed. And let's just imagine I've done it, so I now mark it as completed. Back in my view, I can filter between open and closed planning activities using the drop down. I would now go to the target marketing list section and click add existing marketing lists. Select the one I want and click OK. Here's one that I prepared earlier. We get a warning here which currently has no relevance, but you may be adding an additional list to an existing campaign. It's self-explanatory and will make sense after we've discussed campaign activities. Note you can also associate products and sales literature to your campaign. Click on campaign activities. These are the things we need to do, such as send an email to our target list and also schedule a follow-up call against each one. We'll start with the email, so click Add New Campaign Activity and it's the channel selection that is important and these are the things you can do. When you actually action the activity, the system knows what functionality to call based upon the channel. We'll select email, but you could do it as a merge if you've created a nice template. Choose a type and give it a subject. The date fields don't trigger activities but can be used for building views and some costs can be added that groups back to the main campaign view. The anti-spam warning is to ensure people are not contacted if you have only recently been in touch. So if you didn't want to include anybody who had been contacted within three months, you would put in 90 days. 
I'll just leave it blank for this example. Click Save and Close and I'll now repeat the process for my follow-up phone call. So I'm all set to go, so I might, might now move my campaign status to ready to launch. Now we want to actually send the email, so I go back to my campaign activity and the key is the distribute campaign activity button, which basically means actually do the action that is set up against my target list. Because this is an email, I now get to compose it or use a template. The two fields are greyed out as my target's email addresses will go in here. Notice my offer text has been brought across and I can create the message as I require. Scrolling down, you can see other fields that are greyed out. Don't worry about these as it's just the same form that is used for creating a normal email message in CRM. When ready, click Distribute and then decide on Ownership and click OK. An email will now be sent to all the members of our target marketing list that we linked to the campaign earlier. Now against the activity, we can see the email messages that have been created and also any failures. This is a good example of building a good marketing list as many of these have failed because they have no email address or are already qualified. As we have now sent the email, we may also add some financial information and also close the campaign activity. Let's repeat the process and distribute the phone calls to our leads. It's a pretty straightforward schedule phone call box to fill in and notice the due date has been pulled from the scheduled for date of the campaign activity. When you click distribute again, you are asked who will own them. Adding them to a queue might be a good idea so dedicated sales teams can pick them off one by one. Click OK and we can now see the phone calls created so that I could get on with making those calls when required. Now we've distributed our activities, we might change our campaign status to launched and notice the financials adding up. Other things we may do is close an activity when it is completed or close a campaign upon completion. You may also want to copy a campaign or copy and create your campaign as a template if you're going to use it regularly. One final thing to look at is one of the leads who has been part of our campaign. You can see what marketing lists they are part of, which campaigns they have been targeted in, or any closed or open activities they have that are linked to a campaign. Well that's pretty much it on marketing campaigns in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. Look out for another video on logging responses to your campaigns, but in the meantime, thanks for watching this C-Logic video.